Well, this is Lazy Days Campsites in Sefner, Florida, right outside of Tampa. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning. I wanted to get this in uh, the proper sun. But it's a beautiful place. So lots of RV. This is the pool area. Nice pool. Jacuzzi. This is the campsite clubhouse. And back over there you can see our RV. See if I can zoom in. And there's ours. And you got a pretty good spot right by the clubhouse. And this is just the campsite portion of Lazy Days, not the sales and service side. But you'll see a lot more of these. I've never seen so many RVs in one spot. Big ones. I can't imagine the cost involved with trying to keep these suckers on the road. Anyway, more in a minute. Going to breakfast. Well, I guess we're not ready to go to breakfast yet, so I'll get some more shots of the campgrounds here. This just goes on and on and on. There must be 500 spots. All paved. Here's our rig again. And they have free uh, breakfast and lunch every day while you're here. Uh, it's a little expensive to rent here, but I guess that covers a lot of the cost. More in a minute. Okay, this is the front end of our site. See our car, obviously. Look at that thing going by. Big old diesel Numar. Okay, this is uh, uh, a continuation of the tape from Lazy Days. We are now in the receiving lot to receive our new uh, RV. And I wanted to give you an idea how many RVs there are in this area. These are the mega bucks. Uh, those are what they call the Gold Crown uh, members. I guess anything above 250,000. Some of these things are over a million. That weird one over there with the swirl on it. Let's see, where is it? There. That is a pros. That's a million and a half. Uh, and it just goes on and on and on. At the end of the street is the Gold Crown Members Club. Now we're allowed to go there to shower and get coffee and that type of thing. Uh, you know, use the facilities. But uh, uh, we can't eat there. They have their own uh, restaurant. We have to eat in the other restaurant. Anyway, this is uh, across the street. And it's just beautiful here. I mean, there is so many RVs. These are all RVs uh, that are waiting to get picked up. If they're backed in, they're uh, going to new homes. If they're pulled in forward, that means they're being traded. And there is, uh, oh, I don't know six rows 
probably 20, maybe 40 in a row. And of course, this is the front of our old sites here. And then backed in next to it is our new Cayman. It is quite a bit bigger for slide. And the uh, Winnebago, we only had three slots. A lot more room for storage. And it, I mean, it is in great shape. The interior is like brand new. It's got about 40,000 miles on it. Paints, there's a couple spots that need to be touched up. I've got the paint finally. Uh, I'll be working on that. It's a diesel. Cummings, 300 horsepower. Diesel 8kW generator. They, uh, they put a clothes washer dryer in that they pulled out of another rig that wanted a stackable. And uh, this is a combination washer dryer. And they put on the roof a automatic satellite dish for me that they pulled out of another rig. We had to pay for the labor but it was nothing it was like four hundred dollars to get them both installed and uh, more later <laughs>